And welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of Interest for today, Thursday the 24th of November. Happy Thanksgiving Day everybody, we hope you're well. Of course what that means is a slightly quieter day possibly in global markets with the US markets being closed. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst here to take you around what's happening of course today. And so overnight in the US we ended up positively on Wall Street. Fairly broad based rally but it was a choppy session. We had an early rise and then a midday fall prior to those fed minutes being released when they were released we had uh, markets rise again on the back of a suggestion that smaller rate rises may be coming soon obviously as we've already said it's thanksgiving day in the us today be quite day tomorrow as well we have got markets open but they'll be only open in the us for three hours with it being black friday us futures are positive in asia up around a quarter of a percent and Asia indices are following that US lead across the board. Nikkei's outperforming with the ASX up around 0.4%. European equity futures are also suggesting a positive open later. US dollar index on the back of that Fed narrative closed its lowest level since early August. It is weaker again in Asia at this stage. And the Euro USD, for example, is testing the 200 EMA to the upside. Gold is back above 1740. That's a key level it looks like in the short term. Not a lot of momentum at this stage to take it back up to 1800, but certainly looks positive. Oil dropped significantly, and we're seeing a retest of key technical level looking very lightly. And copper moved higher again after the recent pullback it's had, so that's a couple of days on the spin that it's moved higher. The VIX dropped again on the equity strength and the Fed statement and now is at three month lows and even bitcoin had a better day at the office we saw a bounce of lows at 15 600 yesterday back over 1600 a little bit of a follow through overnight but not breaking any records on its way back up but still precarious obviously we've got the us market closed so we've got a low day today we've got european monetary accounts and german business expectation and climate numbers due this afternoon but really i think it's going to be a technically driven market today let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye uh, we'll look at the aussie dollar us daily chart and you can see there with that us dollar weakness we've had a very nice bounce in the aud taking us back up to around about this Key level at 67.50, that will be the level to keep an eye on. If we breach that, then there could be a move up towards this 69 level, which is around about 150 pips up from where we are now. If we put it on the hourly chart, just take it out a little bit, uh, then in the short term for traders, there could be an opportunity possibly up around about 40 pips to this 67.85 level if we breach where we are now you can see that line there a little more clearly and about how important it is even on the shorter time frame on the asx we see Qantas continue its move higher this was our chart of the day we published on youtube yesterday you can see we've had follow through today it's up to 6 30 now if we just put this on a monthly chart just to give you context about what this means this is the highest level now since before the pandemic and we are looking potentially for a move up towards seven dollars which from where it is now is around about ten percent so looking pretty good uh, we've not moved a great deal since open as you can see with that candle but nevertheless see how this sits into the close and there may be an opportunity if not to enter if you entered already perhaps to accumulate if that fits with your trading plan trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now